It is considered the frosty home of countless comets and minor planets, and yet astronomers have only just begun to uncover the hidden secrets of the remote Kuiper Belt. In fact, the existence of this cosmic ring of icy chunks was only proven in 1992, and it even seems possible that a large, completely unknown planet is still hiding out there. To get to the bottom of the Kuiper Belt, the James Webb Telescope recently turned its attention to the remote extreme zone and discovered something sensational. Some of the celestial bodies there could actually radiate heat and thus even harbor life. The remote outer regions of the solar system still hold countless blank spots on star maps. For a long time, the only thing we knew about this remote area was that the origin of the comets must lie dormant somewhere out there. After all, the trajectory of these galactic chunks extends far beyond the orbit of Neptune. However, the details of what kind of formations are out there and whether there are any celestial bodies at all remained an unsolved mystery for a long time. One of the first to approach the mystery surrounding the source of the comets was Jan Hendrik Oort. In 1950, the Dutch astronomer put forward a model based on a bowl-shaped zone at the outermost edge of the solar system which also serves as a natural reservoir for comet nuclei. Every time the cloud is influenced by the gravity of interstellar gas clouds or pre-drawing stars, some chunks are thrown out of their orbit and become periodic comets. So much for the theory, but the bottom line is that Oort's explanations were only able to explain the orbits of long-period comets, which have a rather random distribution and are sometimes strongly inclined to the planetary orbits. However, Oort's cloud could not explain the characteristics of short-period comets, such as Halley's Comet. In view of this, astronomer Gerard Kuiper came to the conclusion in 1951 that there must be a second comet reservoir out there, somewhat closer to the Sun. This would take the form of a gigantic ring of icy debris just beyond the orbits of Neptune and Pluto. On paper, Kuiper had thus provided a plausible solution to the problem that had caused Oort's model to fail shortly before. In practice, however, the new approach also had a huge catch, because it could not be proven for decades. At the time, there was simply no telescope capable of detecting smaller celestial objects at such gigantic distances. As mentioned at the beginning, it would ultimately take until 1992 before Kuiper's assumptions were realized with the help of the Mauna Kea Observatory in Hawaii. Astronomers Jane Liu and David Jewett had spent five years searching for the telltale traces in space and finally identified the first trans-Neptunian object from the Kuiper Belt with the faint light spot 15760 Albion. Is the Kuiper Belt hiding an unknown planet? Today we know that the ring-shaped, relatively flat region outside the orbit of Neptune extends for about 30 to 50 astronomical units. A brief reminder, the length of the astronomical unit corresponds to the average distance between the Earth and the Sun, or in other words, around 150 million kilometers. In its foothills, the Kuiper Belt gradually merges into the inner edge of the Oort Cloud, the frosty reservoir would therefore be around 20 times larger than the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter and up to 200 times more massive. But what does the situation actually look like in the heart of the Kuiper Belt? Well, experts believe that there are over 70,000 objects with a diameter of more than 100 kilometers in this area. But smaller bodies are invincible, even to powerful space telescopes such as Hubble, due to the enormous distance. In fact, it took until 2019 before a team of researchers succeeded for the first time in detecting a Kuiper Belt object with a diameter of less than 10 kilometers. At the same time, the 1.6 kilometer lump provided proof that smaller bodies also exist there. Nevertheless, we are still a long way from knowing how many objects the Kuiper Belt really contains. What we do know, however, is that it's home to several dwarf planets which ultimately cost Pluto its official planetary status. After more and more Plutoids, or in other words, similarly sized bodies, were found in the Kuiper Belt, the International Astronomical Union decided to redefine the term planet in 2006. Since then, Pluto has been listed in the newly opened ranks of dwarf planets. But who knows? Another celestial body in the Kuiper Belt may soon be included in a slightly older category. 
In fact, the signs that another undiscovered planetary world is slumbering in the outer reaches of the solar system seem to be growing ever stronger. The first indications of the hypothetical Planet 9 were provided in 2015 by the orbits of six larger objects in the scattered area of the Kuiper Belt. In detail, the experts recognize that dwarf planets such as Sedna describe eccentric, highly elliptical orbits whose main axis lies in the same direction. In addition, their orbit is also inclined by around 30 degrees to the elliptic, or in other words, to the apparent orbit of the Sun. Following this discovery, astronomers were then to identify other Kuiper Belt objects with very similar characteristics. But what is it all about? Can it really just be a coincidence? Well, if Mike Brown from the California Institute of Technology has his way, we have the answer to this question with a definite no. If we follow the astronomers' explanations, the probability of a coincidence is just 0.007%. Instead, the similarities of the orbit would suggest the urgent conclusion that the observed celestial bodies are influenced by the gravitational force of one or more objects. In Search of Planet 9 But what is responsible for the gravitational effect? Well. At first glance, you might assume that the Kuiper Belt objects influence each other. At second glance, however, you realize that the zone would have to be 100 times more massive than generally assumed. An alternative approach is based on the existence of a ring structure consisting of many smaller chunks, whose combined gravity is the cause of the orbital anomalies observed in Sedna and company. And indeed, this hypothesis should also stand up to scrutiny in the context of a model although the Kuiper Belt would also have to harbor significantly more objects than the conventional wisdom says. Finally, the third and by far most exciting explanation is based on the influence of a previously undiscovered planet in the Kuiper Belt. According to the model calculations, Planet 9 would have about 10 Earth masses and a diameter slightly smaller than that of Neptune. Furthermore, the theory states that it orbits a distance of between 400 and 1500 astronomical units. In other words, Planet 9 is on average 20 times further away from the Sun than Neptune, and it takes a whopping 15,000 years to complete a full orbit. According to Brown, the chances of Planet 9 being real are anything but bad. He puts the corresponding probability at more than 90%. But how is it then? that Planet 9 has so far simply failed to rise above the status of a hypothetical celestial body. After all, mankind has been looking up at the night sky for thousands of years, and the following shows that our ancestors were extremely successful in doing so. Since ancient times, only two new planets have been detected in the solar system. According to the researchers, the fact that Planet 9 is not yet one of them could be due to the fact that it's currently in the furthest part of its own orbit from the Sun. As a result, it would appear invisible even to the most powerful telescopes. Furthermore, model calculations have shown that the intrinsic luminosity of Planet 9 could be as low as 0.006. For comparison, Neptune has a value of 0.01 in this category. And then there is the radiation problem. The marginal radiation emitted by Planet 9 could be predominantly in the infrared range. As a result, the planet's temperature would have to be around 47 Kelvin or minus 226 degrees Celsius. It would therefore only be a good 35 degrees warmer than its galactic surroundings. Against this background, Planet 9 would therefore be best detected in the far infrared range. But whether and when we will add another member to the list of planets is still written in the stars. Not in the stars, but in the astronomical headlines is what the James Webb Telescope recently discovered in the Kuiper Belt. The remote area is now not only suspected of hiding an unknown planet, but also extraterrestrial life. A Spectacular Discovery At first, one would probably assume that the Kuiper Belt is a cosmic no-man's land, an icy area that only harbors dead objects. Given the extreme conditions that prevail here, the thought of the existence of liquid water, or even living beings, seemed simply inconceivable. But now, the James Webb Telescope has gathered new data that fundamentally challenges this assumption. The study, which was carried out by Christopher Glein's team from the Southwest Research Institute, focused on the two dwarf planets Eris and Makimaki. 
As part of their work, the experts finally came across frozen methane that had only recently been cooked. In other words, the discovery indicates that there are hot cores at the heart of the frosty dwarf planets that are capable of transporting liquids and gases to the surface. But that's not all. According to Glein, the relatively young methane deposits also suggest that the dwarf planets could harbor subglacial oceans. Icy moons such as Europa have already proven that many a celestial body in the solar system hides a sloshing secret. And if this researcher has his way, the hot cores could also point to sources of liquid water beneath the icy surfaces. It's even conceivable that some of these frozen dwarf planet worlds offer conditions that are conducive to life. At the moment, however, this is still a purely theoretical assumption, and in order to test its correctness, a direct venture into these cosmic frontier regions seems extremely promising. After all, NASA's New Horizons mission to Pluto and beyond has already uncovered a complex world with a diverse topography. Since then, we have known that the Kuiper Belt is sometimes much more dynamic than previously assumed. In order to put the exciting web data into a geological context, Glein hopes that the renowned space agency will send another probe into the Kuiper Belt in the foreseeable future. According to the expert himself, he is certain that we will be absolutely astounded by the wonders that await us there and so that we can also regularly amaze you with the wonders of space, you should definitely press the like and subscribe button now. Become part of our community and never miss another exciting video from us.